Before I get to the beer, just wanted to show off my new Sum 41 tour shirt, courtesy of my friend Tommy from Finland, who got this from the European tour. So it's extra badass. I like Sum 41. He likes Sum 41. So he decided to get me a tour shirt. Thank you, Tommy. I greatly appreciate it. It's fucking awesome. So on to the beer. This is a beer I have been waiting to uh, open up. Uh, I did not think I was going to find this in store. I don't know why I didn't think I was going to find this in store, but uh, I found it nonetheless. So this is Funky Buddha's 2017 Maple Bacon Coffee Porter. Check that label out. Very pretty. Very pretty. Surprisingly, low ABV. I'm so used to these special yearly release kind of things, especially when it comes to porters and stouts, being a higher ABV. This one is 6.4% ABV. I am not going to complain about that. So described here, ale with coffee, maple syrup, and natural flavors added. Um, I'll read the splash on the side here too. Evoking a complete diner style breakfast in a glass. I miss diner style breakfasts. Oh, Florida just doesn't have them right. Jersey, oh, so good. Maple bacon coffee porter is chock full of sticky maple syrup, fresh roasted coffee, and the smoky salty bite of bacon. Luxuriously creamy with layers of sweet malt, toffee, and roast giving way to waves of smoke and salted chocolate. This ebony porter finishes sticky and rich with maple syrup lingering pleasantly on the tongue. This is one of those rare beers that I've gotten a hold of that on rate beer is both a 100 rating overall and a 100 rating in style. So I have high hopes for this one. Oh my God, it smells like maple syrup right off the hop there. Oh, I can only imagine how it's gonna waft into my nose out of the bottle like this. Wow. Oh, it, damn, like, it, it smells like breakfast. It smells that whether, whether you're going for French toast or pancakes or waffles, whatever you have your syrup on, that's, that's that aroma I'm getting here, which is fantastic. I think I'm picking up a hint of the smokiness in there too from the bacon, but that probably comes a lot more in the taste. Oh my God. You get that maple syrup, you get that smokiness from the bacon that, that isn't overbearing. I've had some beers that have tried to work with the bacon that haven't even necessarily been rock beers or anything like that, that um, they overdo it a little bit with the smokiness. In a, in a rock beer, I can tolerate a little bit more because that's the particular style. Um, but sometimes when bacon is added to the beer, it almost feels there's there's an artificiality to it that the smokiness just is too much and it, it doesn't work naturally with the beer this one though is the perfect level the perfect level of sweetness it's not too heavy feeling a beer the ABV is perfect god damn oh now I'm disappointed I only have one bottle of this but it's a $20 bottle so um, I don't know, if I bought too many of these, my wife would probably kill me. I actually did buy another one of these, but to have muled up to uh, Jersey for my uh, former neighbor up there, Gene, which uh, if he's watching this, he's already gotten the bottle by now because I'm shooting this, uh, let's see. I'm shooting this the weekend my uh, mother-in-law and father-in-law are heading back up to Jersey to bring that uh, bottle to him. So, but I think this is gonna air, what? late April, something like that. I, I, I can't keep track of this anymore. I got so stacked up with this, thinking that work and everything, well, I'm, 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 I'm diverging from the topic at hand. This amazing, amazing beer. God, the aroma just keeps getting better. The sweetness doesn't disappear. The smokiness doesn't, the level does not change at all. It's beautiful. Everything is perfectly melded here. It is breakfast in a glass. Um, what's the most, the most recent breakfast in a glass that I've had was, um, what was it, the, the Dogfish Head uh, Beer for Breakfast, I think, or whatever that one was called. And that one, the more bottles I went through, the more I wasn't quite as satisfied with it. This one, though, oh, 
I could I could drink this over and over again. God damn. That is fantastic. I, I part of me wants to savor it, and part of me just wants to keep drinking. It's, it, it's a tough balance. This is really good. I can see why it's double hundreds on rate beer. It's that good. So the 2017 Maple Bacon Coffee Porter. I wish I had beers to trade because at the store I got this at, one of the employees has, I think she said a 2014 of this. If I had something worthwhile to trade for it that I didn't want to drink myself, I would be all over that. But 2017, Funky Buddha Maple Bacon Coffee Porter, 6.4% ADV. If you find this, pick it up. You will not be sorry. With that, I will see you for the next review.